are heavy on the throttle. So yesterday after the whole Tesla experience I went to my relatives house got to drive a Corvette as well and now today I am back here in DC now this is the American Air and Space Museum let me show you around some kick ass planes I would love to give the beans you can see that's a male wing I don't even know what that means and there's a Douglas and there's a Ford aircraft which was used by American Airlines and it was also used by the US mail that one is called alpha wondering where beta and gamma are there's an air bus simulator i presume right ahead there's one here as well and there must be something interesting behind this is from 1958 uh, yeah it shows the cockpit of the aircraft probably i think it's doing a takeoff or something right now no nobody's inside that's a reflection of people standing around so that is the aircraft in 1958 they had all these controls that's insane so there's another plane over here in fact i'm going to see a lot of them so there's scale models here as well i don't know if i can get one for myself i presume not because uh, this one is showing some history or the kind of metal which is used a lot of riveting happens on uh, aircrafts obviously and that's similar to what the land rover uses on the range rover as well as the range rover sport i think this is something which the ride brothers made oh i'm just kidding about that this one was used by nasa and uh, yeah it doesn't look that well finished build quality could have been better more history over here this one looks like a cycle i mean i'm sure many maruti cars have tires bigger than that that is a camera yeah that's right a camera and i actually thought real people were sitting there don't know who they are hey what's up hello you there this engine or air cup was probably made by tata or mahindra but i think they're still repairing something right now <laughs> yeah yeah he has a screwdriver in his hand now that's something cool even this one This is the sea air operations it says hangar deck over here look at the attention to detail on this bit i'm sure there's more attention to detail on other aircrafts over here but this is the only one which is that open that's the runway and that's a cdr not a cbr all right guys there isn't much to explore over here actually there's a lot to explore but i don't understand aircrafts much so I am just going to sign off say bye bye and uh, I will see you in the next location I don't know where I'm heading That is the capital building that's not Taj Mahal guys why are you thinking it's Taj Mahal and uh, that's from where i just came which is the air and space museum and that is washington monument and uh, that is some building this is another museum over there and over here somewhere is the white house which i'll go in a bit <laughs> united states of america and this is uh, the national cultural museum or something i'm sorry i'm actually reading on the right side i don't know but it looks like the asiatic library in mumbai slightly cleaner that's it there's an f150 standing there Looks dope yeah every time i see one i just want to like sit in it and run away i don't know where but another f150 over here and uh, there is a ford escape i think there is a grand cherokee which looks like a compass because of the size of vehicles here I spotted a Royal Enfield in the museum. Here it is. Yep, that's it. This is the classic 350. Or the 500 doesn't matter. And how many want to see the chassis of the Royal Enfield? That it is the chassis. I kid you not. Hathi mat palo. Looks like the logo of uh, Sonalika. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not racist. No! Whoa! 
Oh my God, that was not easy at all. He made it, ladies and gentlemen. That is worth a lot. Outside the White House, the White House is there behind, and I will quickly show you the White House. There you can see. Oh uh, yeah, you can't really go inside, and uh, there's a GMC vehicle standing there, and it looks kind of special because of the security. There's too much security. Yeah, a lot of Chevrolet cars inside the White House, and there's a Crown Victoria police car here, and you can also join if you're looking for a job. going to Lincoln Memorial which is right in front and everyone's name is on top you can just see that we zoom it a bit yeah and an aircraft is going above I don't know it's like a lot of flying zones over here Come to this place to eat cupcake and you won't believe the line over here is insane just look at this line it's like never ending that's gonna take an hour at least minimum and this thing actually came on tv so that's the reason why everyone's coming to eat cupcake this is called georgetown cupcake And the line remains the same no matter what happens like it keeps growing and growing and growing to eat burgers and guess what uh, there are a lot of motorcycles over there they are revving the nuts out and there are a lot of Corvettes here as well so there's one over here nice blingy wheels and there's a Lancer over here the Mitsubishi Lancer there's another Corvette over there there's a Renegade standing next to it and there's a Rubicon like next to it as well so here you go the Corvette looks absolutely dope these guys are revving the nuts out of their motorcycles You have an F-Pace over here, there's the Rubicon, the Wrangler Unlimited and the Corvette is just so sexy. The lowest profile tire I've ever seen on a Range Rover, just look at the profile of the tires. Harbour and you can see some kick ass cars over here and sort of a carnival happening over here. See National Harbour written over there, the most blingy car ever. The Escalade. There's a ton of Tesla vehicles over here because this is the supercharger station. And you can see the cars are on charge over here. Model X, Model S. Uh, there's a compass. And making some noise while charging. That's an Aston Martin. That's a Tesla. 